So when I think about digital and technology in the asset and wealth management space, I actually think we're a bit of a barbell. In some ways, we have been ahead of the curve if you think about some of the quantitative strategies and high frequency trading. And then in other ways behind. And one area is how you reach out to investors and interact. And our distribution strategies are very cumbersome and manual, a lot of manual processes, very heavily human reliant. So robo-advisors really have been a big disruptor, basically how you reach out to investors in a digital way and often you have no human interface. So very often an investor will go online with a robo-advisor, fill out you know, what they're trying to achieve, their risk return appetite and get a recommendation around the portfolio, completely eliminating the human element. So that is obviously very disruptive and, and leaves wealth managers and asset managers wondering about how do they continue to build a relationship. I often think, you know, investing for the future for whether it's your retirement, for children's education, perhaps saving for a home. It's a very emotional aspect and to remove the human element completely is, is quite difficult. I think what we'll see is a lot of adoption of robo-advisors by younger generations who are perhaps more comfortable with technology and using their devices. So it'll be uh, different by age generation, but also by geography. I think in Asia, we see huge growth potential in terms of emerging middle classes and very young populations and, and growing populations. And I think they will probably be the biggest adopters of robo-advisors. So wealth managers and asset managers need to think about how do I keep the relationship if I'm going to insert a technological uh, solution in between myself and my customer. Mm -hmm.